We are at the Sedalia Senior Center with Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft. Secretary, you're seeing a lot of the state these days. It's wonderful. I love to get out of Jefferson City. I have the great pleasure of working as Secretary of State for everyone, and I feel like I should get to where they are and answer their questions. And the purpose of your tour around the state this time, and the reason you're here in Sedalia, is to talk about the new voter ID law that went into effect, I guess, June 1st. Yeah, it went into effect June 1st. We wanted to make sure that every registered voter in the state knows that if they go to their polling place on Election Day, they can vote, and their vote will count. We don't want them to be dissuaded or confused by what other people might tell them. It is a little bit different. Uh, we're, we're pushing people to show that government-issued photo ID, their Missouri driver's license, and Missouri non-driver's license, passport, or military ID. But we've also added the ability to have uh, provisional ballots at all of our in-person elections to make sure that if you are registered, you actually do have the chance to vote. Um, I believe that if you're registered, you ought to have the right opportunity to vote just like everyone else. And I would hope that uh, politically we can all agree that we want everyone possible that's legally registered voting. And if you're not registered, Give us a call, hit our website, we'll get you registered. And it's kind of hard to boil down a 30-minute presentation to a nutshell, but uh, some of the highlights of this law, for those that maybe don't have an ID, or as you said, you could show up with no ID and, and still cast your vote. Yeah, you can still cast your vote with a provisional ballot using your signature. One of the great benefits of the law is for people that don't have that government-issued photo ID, the government's going to provide one for free. Not only the cost of the ID, but those underlying documents you might need to get. And, and we'll sit on hold with other states or other agencies to go ahead and get those documents for you. This should be a real benefit if there are individuals that don't have an ID. We want to be there for them. And they can just contact your office? They can go ahead and contact our office. The best way is probably through our website, showittovote.com has a lot more information and ways to contact us.